week anirudh and with anirudh is a special family anirudh with anirudh is clifford nongrum's family remember clifford nongrum is a martyr was a martyr of kargil he was the first martyr from the northeast he martyred his life sacrificed his life for the motherland in kargil it's over to you anirudh Yes, thank you, Sitel. We are now at the residence of Captain Clifford Nongrum, and this is the museum which has been erected in his memory in his residence in Silong. And here, his family has preserved all the belongings of Captain Clifford Nongrum and the photographs uh, which were clicked during his service period and the the dresses that uh, Clifford Nongrums once used and. Also, the uniforms here. The Mahavir Sakra is also here, which was awarded to um, uh, Captain Clifford Nongrum posthumously. And uh, we are joined by his family members out here. Uh, he, uh, we have with us Mr. K. Peter, father of Captain Clifford Nongrum. Uh, sir, at first, have a very happy Independence Day to you. And I would like to know from you: you, your son, made the supreme sacrifice for this country. As a father, how do you see the the sacrifice made by your son, Captain Clifford Nongru? Well, I am very proud of his sacrifice because uh, Clifford used to say that one day I'll be I'll make you proud, proudest parents in the world. He used to say it, and he even sent uh, a card uh, in the. Uh, Christmas card uh, that uh, uh, one day I'll make you uh, proudest parents okay. and uh, please pray for me like that he said. Accordingly, I, we are really proud of him because he made uh, a supreme sacrifice for the country at uh, 0 0.481 at uh, Kirkil and uh, Batalik sector. So we are really proud of his sacrifice for the country. We also have with us uh, his mother, but she has requested us that she is not actually willing to talk to anyone at this point. And his brother uh, is with us. Uh, uh, I would like to know from you, your brother made supreme sacrifice for his country. But 71 years from independence and so many sacrifices made in different times, in different wars, our heroes laid down their lives protecting the nation, defending the sovereignty of this country. And as we are celebrating the 71st Independence Day, there are some people in some pockets of India who are objecting to singing the national anthem or to salute the tricolor. How do you see it as a brother of a martyr? Uh, first of all, a uh, very happy Independence Day. And uh, of course, like uh, in that regard, like... Uh, this great nation is built actually with the supreme sacrifice of many individuals, our soldiers. We are as we are today, like uh, no enemy is there to attack us. So as, as an Indian, I would say that uh, the first, the duty, our first duty is uh, to respect an tricolor and also the national anthem. And uh, I would say that, uh, I would say with pride that uh, I'll sing the national anthem and I salute to the flag any, anywhere at uh, any point of time. And if, of course, like uh, in these present days, after 71 years of uh, Indian independence, we have seen that uh, there are some people who are not respecting the uh, tricolor and the national anthem also. I would say that uh, if they call themselves Indians, they, uh, they are, I don't really agree with that because like uh, in order to, if you call yourself an Indian, the first basic thing you need to do is actually to respect the tricolor, your flag, and of course the national anthem. And I would condemn all those people who call themselves uh, uh, Indian citizen, but not respecting the flag and the uh, national anthem. Exactly, it's the act of some mindless politician, I would say, some mindless politicians has actually pained the hearts of the family of martyrs who laid down their lives for the sake of this nation, Sital. 